incidentally, I wouldn't want to follow that. Mr. Were. Speaker, I was getting ready to say, <laughs> didn't you have somebody else you wanted to call first? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I rise for a point of personal privilege. On the House floor. First of all, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to say just thank you to the Majority Leader for his kind comments and all of you that have contacted me about my decision to sort of retire. But it's really not about me the reason I stand, Mr. Speaker. I also wanted to thank the Clerk of the House, Mr. Paul Narda. He is the one who gave me seat number 26. And I'm very grateful for that, for a reason that you may not know. Nor did I know until the session was just about over. The last, the waning days of the last session, I found out that my seatmate, the kind and quiet gentleman from Pocosin, is someone who I did not know who he was. He is an American hero. He is an accomplished author. And someone that it took me about an hour after we left session, I went online to Amazon. And there's a book that the gentleman from Pocosin authored. And it tells of his heroic events in service to this great nation more than 50 years ago in Vietnam. I read that book. It's a thin book. It's a small book. But it's a powerful story about his heroic efforts under fire serving his nation in the call to freedom. I wrote him after I read the book. I couldn't put it down. It goes from his youth. By the way, it's worth it to purchase the book just to see how skinny and youthful he was. <laughs> there are pictures. But after I read it, not only did I realize what a hero I was sitting beside, but the book is a genuine love story about his wife, Joy, how she stood behind him as a young man after he got out of Vietnam, after he was healed, went back out in the community. He continued to serve in many varying roles. So I just want to encourage all of my colleagues to go to Amazon, purchase this book, Learn something about your colleague. It's a spiritual book, The Day That God Showed Up. Now, I brought this book in today selfishly. I did want to honor my colleague from Pocosin, but I also want him to autograph it <laughs> because I know it's going to be worth a lot of money one day. So, Mr. Speaker... <laughs> I hope you'll buy the book, but Mr. Speaker, I hope that my colleagues will join me in giving the gentleman from Pocosin a warm round of applause for his great service to our nation and continuing service today in the House of Delegates. Thank you, Mr.